Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you the best way of adding film grain to your photos in Lightroom. Okay, so essentially grain is something that comes from when we used to print or when we still do print photographs on paper and we love having that effect even though we're seeing it on our screen. So essentially what is grain? Well if you imagine a piece of paper it has kind of peaks and valleys. So it actually has a texture to it. You can feel it. Like the back of this leather book, you can actually see that it has some texture to it. That essentially is grain. And there's a few different elements to it. There is the size of each bump, so as in the actual size that it goes. And then there is the height of the bump. And then there is how many bumps there are. So they're the three different elements that you've got, and you can change these to create some amazing film effects in Lightroom. So let's jump in and have a look. So today we're gonna to be using this photo. I kinda of wanted a photo of grains, but I just had this one of beans, so it'll have to do. But also, it, it, it's really great for this example. So if we zoom in, we can actually see, we've got loads of details on these beans, so we can look at what we're actually doing. So, the grain is down here under effects and at the very bottom there's grain. So let's just slide these around and see what happens. If you add grain to something, basically it adds a series of flecks of highlights and shadows, highlights and darks, basically little contrasty things that it overlays onto your image. Okay, so that's the first thing. So amount, this is essentially how much do you want to see these? Okay, and the next thing you get is size. So how big are these bumps actually going to be? So the bigger the bump, it looks more like this. And then roughness is it actually starts to give it some real texture. Okay, but it's hard to see in this image what's actually happening. So let's reset all of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this here, which is essentially a plain gray image that's it there's nothing on this whatsoever so if we look at adding just the, the amount slider what happens is you start seeing these contrasty elements and let's zoom all the way in on this it's just bits of contrast now when you add size this one's really important okay so you change the size you make it bigger now what you can actually see is it kind of reduces the contrast a little bit as well it adds a kind of a blur now this is really important because when you're adding it to images when you increase the size of your grain essentially you're making it look older and so the print quality you're going to add a little blur to it and we'll show you what that means in a moment the final thing is roughness now if we add on loads of roughness you see it creates this amazing effect and there's actually veins and there's lighter sections and darker whole sections now the reason for this is if you imagine you take a piece of paper you screw it up and then you open it out it's not evenly like got lots of bumps and pitfalls anymore. Now it's got like veins that go through it. That really is what the roughness is and it's emulated wonderfully in Lightroom. So again, if we take the size down, okay, it's now gonna add all of these really strong dots, highlights and shadows. So if we were to emulate a few different films in this, a contemporary film would be something all around here. So even, Okay, so they're evenly sized, the roughness is not too high, and there's not too much of it, okay? So that's gonna be a contemporary film. A very old film is gonna be really big, and it's gonna be really rough. And then your amount, you would wanna say, you know, how much do you want to still be able to see the image? So let's come back over here and really have a look at this. I wanted to make this image here seem really old. Let's actually look at, let's add some grain to it. So by adding grain, okay, not very much to the image actually happens unless you zoom into it, okay? But, so let's put this, sorry, at 100%. So you can actually see when you zoom in. But when you're out, you don't see it. And that's what's important to know about Lightroom. It renders things differently. So you get, this would look different when you printed it. So always be sure when using grain to use 100% and come in and see really the effect you're getting. That is a vital tool. Always look at this at 100%. Let me show you why. Over here, let's add, let's make all this really, really big like this. If I zoom out, this is what it looks like. 
But when I zoom into 100%, watch this. It changes, okay, because it's rendering it differently. So that's really important to know about Lightroom. So I want to make this again into now. So this was a kind of a contemporary film. Let's put it around here. This is kind of a contemporary film. I want to make it very old. You're going to add the size. And now, did you see how that now goes blurry? That's what I was explaining before. Amazing tool. And then you can add some roughness to that as well. And now when you zoom out, that looks like an old film. So how would you use this as in an image? I want to use this photograph here of Rosie White and we're going to do a really quick edit. Now I'm actually going to turn this one into black and white because I, I, I think this is going to look great in black and white. Now I'm going to, with this down here, I want to boost the highlights and I want to pull down the darks for this image. And I'm going to go into the tone curve at the bottom by pressing this and I'm going to add one point and I'm going to move this end up like so. And this is how I'm going to add a real film feel to this by reducing the contrast, adding a kind of a matte effect to that. Really happy with that. Now, down here in the black and white section, because you can't use HSL because you're only using in the, in the gray tones, what I want to do is I know that the trees are green, so I want to pull those down a little, okay? Pull those down like so, and her skin tones I'm going to boost. Now she's looking fantastic. So... At this point, it looks nice, but you can tell it's just been converted later. What if I was to add a little bit of grain to this image? Okay, so I'm going to add uh, around a 34 to that. Size, I'm actually, I'm going to boost this up a little bit so because I want it to blur out a little. And then roughness, I'm going to make it pretty rough. Now, when we come in and look at this image, now it looks like a really great, wonderful film feel to it. I, th I actually think I've gone a little bit too far on the amount. So I'm going to pull that back just a hair. And I'm going to increase the size of it a little bit. Now I'm happy. So let's look at the before and after of this. You can see that I've gone from a beautiful image, wonderfully taken, to now a real film looking image in just a few clicks. And honestly, I needed the grain to do that. Because without the grain, if I come in again, and if I take the grain out of this, it doesn't have the same feel. So that is how to really master grain in Lightroom. It's a huge tool and it's very, very important. If you like the video, then please, of course, like it and give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. I've got loads more tutorials coming up. If you've got any comments, I love comments and I respond to every single person. So please give me a message and I will write back to you. Any questions or thoughts? Just drop it down there. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. <laughs>